dear lord, it has truly been far too long since the last time we took a look at what parents have to say about Roblox, but based on what we have already seen regarding this topic previously, it has also been nowhere near long enough. So, to commemorate my incredibly brave sacrifice on behalf of everyone watching this video, please leave a like on this video and subscribe if you think it's funny that parents still think that Roblox is super dangerous because after reading what they said, I guarantee you're just, you're not going to be able to stop laughing. So the 16th of January, all the way back in 2019, was the first time I gave myself the idea to create a video like this and I'm not even gonna comment on how it has possibly been over two years already because we already know by now that time absolutely does not exist but I just want to mention how much I hate past Chloe for uploading that video because even right now two years and four months later I'm still receiving so many requests for me to read more Roblox reviews written by the parents of Roblox players so fear not because I promise I do hear every single thing that you guys say to me whether it's positive or negative and that is exactly why I am finally doing this again I am back on a website known as common sense media and they allow people both parents and the children to write their own reviews about Roblox Roblox. Right off the bat, when revisiting this website for the first time after not touching it for so incredibly long, I can say that there is a few changes that I can already recognise with the recommended age section because back in my video in 2019, Common Sense Media themselves recommended that Roblox was most appropriate for anyone aged 10 years or older and today they appear to have raised that all the way up to 13 years or older. Just to clarify real quick, this is nothing more than what this specific website is recommending to people based on their own takings of the reviews that they receive. Like, as far as I'm aware, Roblox has never, will never, and they currently do not have a minimum age requirement. But again, back in 2019, based on every review that the parents had left, their recommended age was sitting at 12 years or older. And based on every review that the children had left, their recommended age was 10 years or older. Whereas now, and very much to my surprise, both of those sections have lowered quite a lot with the parent reviews now overall recommending 10 years or older and the overall child reviews now say 9 years or older. But I guess uh, now that we got all the boring stuff out of the way, the most interesting part about this entire page and the only part that we should be focusing on right now is the actual contents of these parent reviews themselves. I personally would like to start off with this review from a parent because it's it's such a short review with barely any words to it at all and yet somehow there are still so many contradictions because first of all they recommend Roblox to be a good enough platform for anyone who is two years or older but then they only rated it as one out of five stars so that alone made it super difficult to understand whether or not this particular parent was a fan of Roblox but then I read the title of their review and it all made sense to me. So broken, not worth even five bucks. Oh, I guess that doesn't really make sense at all, but at least I now understand that they are not the biggest fan of Roblox itself. I don't fully understand why they felt it was necessary to mention that Roblox isn't even worth $5 when Roblox is literally free for quite literally anyone out there to download. Like, of course you can buy Robux and premium on Roblox, but not once in its entire existence has Roblox itself ever been a paid platform. But I suppose we should at least hear them out, right? Well, here goes nothing because they said that Roblox, it's weird and ugly looking, broken in every way, graphics, gameplay and more, not worth anything. Oh wow, that's great I guess. Like, thank you ever so much for this extremely intelligent and helpful constructive criticism that will surely help Roblox improve themselves in every single possible way. Oh, how about this review right here? This one was written by Cool Dad 1316 himself. Yeah, that's right. You heard me correctly. We are looking at the masterpiece, the art, the work created and put out there by the real life Cool Dad 1316. I was researching Roblox so I could make sure that my eight year old son could play this game. Right away, I found something. Oh no. Everyone, we need to take a moment to breathe and just prepare ourselves for what is about to follow because when Cool Dad 1316 was researching Roblox, 
he found something. This game has extreme privacy concerns. Games can be pretty violent, they can be made by anyone, and there is online daters, odors if you will. <laughs> That, that doesn't mean the game is bad, but after a few updates on the site, I noticed that Roblox is barely free to play anymore. I am so sorry. I was trying so hard not to laugh at odors, if you will. Why did this man have to turn online daters into such a formal discussion topic? They took away the free currency, so now you have to pay to get money, brackets, robux, just to customise your character. You know, I, I, I suppose this review was written back when ticks got removed, which is kind of interesting because I would have imagined the last people to be complaining about the removal of ticks would have been the parents, but with Robux being the only way to customise your avatar and with Robux costing real life money, of course you have to pay to get the currency and I guess technically pay to customise your avatar, but that absolutely does not mean that Roblox is no longer free to play. People sometimes curse. The chat can be turned off, but the comments of games cannot. People discriminate a lot. If you just joined, you are a noob. If your character doesn't have any cool shirts or hats, people will ignore you on team games. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, and maybe this is just because I obviously have not been a new player on Roblox for the last 10 years, but I don't think I've ever seen people genuinely ignore their team members just because they are a new player. Like, of course, there is always people out there who will discriminate or hate on people if they appear to be new to Roblox or literally any other game. Like that has always been the case on quite literally any game on the entire internet since its entire existence, but perhaps I'm just slightly confused as to why this is such a sensitive and passionate topic for someone like CoolDad1316. Just limit them to what they do on the site and don't let them respond back, as there is some cyberbullying on the site, beware. Well, thank you ever so much for this lovely little beware warning. Like, now I feel like I'm fully protected against anyone who might attack me for being a noob since, you know, since I only joined one decade ago, and that's, that's kind of recent to be completely honest with you. Look, there is so many more parent reviews. Like right now there is 1,636 reviews written by the parents of these Roblox players. And it's like, it's the most fun thing in the entire world to read because sometimes you'll come across a review that is quite obviously written by a child, but you can tell that they are trying their very best to make it seem like, like they are a parent or at least they are an adult. And it's the, it's the funniest thing I've ever seen. There's also a few real parents here and there saying that they do quite enjoy watching their children play Roblox or even sometimes playing it themselves, but the majority of them are parents believing, still believing to this day that Roblox is not safe, Roblox is dangerous and Roblox is just not a good thing to let their children be playing, which is obviously not the truth. We have determined that so many times at this point, but please, if you want to read any more of these reviews, then I absolutely suggest you go do so because it's hilarious. So one more time, please make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe because I would always appreciate the love and that you guys gave me. And you know what? It helps me out a lot. I speak so fast. I don't even know how that happens. But if we can think of the parents still thinking that Roblox is far too dangerous of a platform to let their children play on. Thank you guys so much for joining and I'll see you in the next one.